Okay, so today we're going to look at taking the drive belt from the BS300. The first procedure is to actually take the bandsaw blade from the machine before you can even start proceeding to take the bottom wheel off. For this job, for taking the bottom wheel off, you'll need a pair of circlip pliers. Uh, there's a circlip located at the front of the shaft which holds the, front, the um, lower cast wheel onto its spindle. Let's just take a look at the uh, drive configuration. Down here you've got the, the motor pulley, here you have the belt tensioner, and at the back, cast and machined into the um, lower wheel, is the actual drive, drive pulley for, the, for the, the, the main wheel. Horizontal to the tensioning pulley is the hand wheel to actually tension and slacken the belt. So if you turn the hand wheel clockwise, it slackens the belt off. If you turn it anti-clockwise, it tightens it back up. So first thing to do is obviously to slacken the belt and remove the drive belt from the motor pulley itself. Taking your circlip pliers, place the circlip pliers in the two holes, gently squeeze and remove the circlip from the shaft. Once you've done this, you can get hold of, hold of the wheel and gently pull the wheel from the shaft. The pulley should come away with the wheel and what you will note is a, a build-up of, of dust and dirt in the bottom of the cast wheel. At this point, we're probably best to remove all the dust from this wheel. Just a, a paintbrush or any type of brush and just clean, clean the wheel, remove all the dirt from it. Once the wheel's clean, you can, you can put the new, new drive belt onto the pulley. Place the cast wheel over the centre of the shaft. Slide it on. Don't slide it on too far at this point because you'll find that you won't be able to get the belt past the motor pulley and the end of the cast wheel. Place the drive belt on the motor pulley and then push the cast wheel securely back. Replace the circlip. over the end of the shaft there. Push it until it clicks into the groove, give it a little spin, make sure it's in there firm. Once you've done that, you can then proceed to turn the hand wheel anti-clockwise to tension the belt. Don't over tighten the belts. If you get a little bit of slippage later on, you can always just tension it that little bit more. And that's how you replace the belt.